Hello students, in the previous lectures, we discussed helium neon laser, ionic lasers, molecular laser, excimer laser and the solid state lasers, the ruby laser. Now, in today's lecture, we will discuss in detail the semiconductor diode lasers. As the very word you must have heard, semiconductor, the most common word is that they are also known as junction lasers or the junction diode because they produce laser energy at the junction. That is when we combine a P-type to an N-type, then the junction forms there. So lasers in which semiconductor material is being used as an active medium are known as semiconductor conductor diode lasers. Section A, very common question asked is that in spite of silicon and germanium being the most common semiconductor materials, they are not being used for lasing purposes because they are having indirect band gap. Another good point about the output of semiconductor lasers is that we get output in the form of bands, which is very good. See, semiconductor lasers are very small in size. They can be directly modulated. They are efficient in converting electrical energy into light. They have a very broad range of wavelengths. They are low in cost, giving us a continuous supply and they can be easily fabricated. See, what is the base of semiconductors? that the energy levels here are getting spreaded into bands, which is very unique property of semiconductor lasers. Such bands are called energy bands, which are separated by forbidden regions of the energy. So this energy region is known as forbidden region or the forbidden band. Highest energy band in the solid is that is completely filled or occupied by electrons at zero Kelvin is known as valence band. And then we have the conduction band. So here we are having bands instead of the usual energy level. Now, the basic types of two semiconductors which you must have heard in the past are the intrinsic and the extrinsic. In intrinsic, that is without any impurity and extrinsic, the ones that have been doped or they are the impure one. Doping is going to increase the conductivity of semiconductors. And on the basis of this doping, we say that the semiconductors are N-type or P-type. Now, the principle of a semiconductor laser, when P-type is connected to the positive region and N to the negative. We get the forward biasing. And when it is vice versa, we are getting the reverse biasing. So this principle we are going to use before beginning to construct my laser. We should remember that semiconductor lasers are most important tool for direct application to surface heating and building pumping. Look at this diagram of semiconductor laser. See, the P-type and N-type, they have been joined and from the junction, that is the point where they are meeting, we will get the laser output. That is the PN junction. And this we have done for the power supply. So that is why they are known as junction lasers, where P type and N type combine, then we get the junction. At the junction point also, we get the depletion layer. Working of semiconductor laser is very simple. What happens is that when positive is connected to P region, negative to N region, both depletion layer and potential barrier will be reduced and the diode will be in the forward biasing and we will get the continuous flow of current. 
advantages it is very simple in construction it is very light in weight compact units and requiring small supplementary equipments we can easily move ahead with it but only that uh, this advantage is that the output power available from this laser is limited by the loop gain available within the laser and advantages used in area of communication used in local area network, used in laser printing. The two types of semiconductor lasers are homo junction and hetero. Very word makes it clear that homo means when the semiconductor device is constructed from a single semiconductor, like galenium arsenide, it will be known as a homo junction. And when you are taking a combination, it will be known as a hetero junction semiconductor laser. That means here you are, suppose you use galenium arsenide and aluminium galenium arsenide, and then you combine the two, then here hetero, see, we are using this different combination and then we form the junction, then it will be known as heterojunction. These days, quantum well lasers are very common. They are very uh, small in size, very efficient. Simple questions like what do you understand by semiconductor? Which type of semiconducting materials are used? What are the characteristics? Various bands, applications, homojunction, heterojunction. So quickly that... Uh, 